Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about the special right triangle and we're focusing on 30, 60, 90 degrees angle. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now according to the theorem, the length of the hypotenuse is twice the length of the shorter leg and the length of the longer leg is equal to square root of 3 times the shorter leg. Now before writing the formula, we need to identify what would be the shorter leg and what would be the longer leg in this given right triangle. So once again class, we call this one right triangle if one angle measures exactly 90 degrees. And that would be angle C. Now to identify the shorter leg, that would be the opposite of this angle 30 degrees. Once again class, if this is your angle, opposite side of this angle 30 degrees, that would be your shorter leg. And the opposite side of this angle 60 degrees, opposite of this angle 60 degrees, this will be your longer leg. And the hypotenuse class, the longest side, or that would be the opposite of this angle 90 degrees, this one, this will be your hypotenuse. So once again, class, let me repeat it back. Opposite of this angle 30 degrees, opposite side of this angle 30 degrees, that's the shorter leg. Opposite of the 60 degrees, that's the longer leg. And the longest side, it's always the hypotenuse. Now, according to the theorem, the hypotenuse is twice the length of the shorter leg. Alright, so the hypotenuse, let me write the equation class. Hypotenuse is, is equal sign, twice the length of the shorter leg. So if you have twice, it means two times. So that would be two times the length of the shorter leg. So two times S. Shorter leg is S. So two times S. That's the hypotenuse class. So the hypotenuse class is twice the length of the shorter leg. Now the longer leg is equal to square root of 3 times the shorter leg. So longer leg is, is there is equal sign, square root of 3 times the shorter leg. So that's the formula there class. Now let's give an example class. What if the shorter leg is 4? So this is 4. How will you get the hypotenuse? That's correct. You simply multiply this by 2, right? Because the hypotenuse is twice the length of the shorter leg. So if this is 4, hypotenuse will be 8. So hypotenuse will be 8. Now what would be the measure of the longer leg? That's correct. You simply multiply this one by square root of 3, right? Because the longer leg, it says, is square root of 3 times the shorter leg. And we have given shorter leg, that is 4. So that would be square root of 3 times the shorter leg, that is 4. So once again, class, do not multiply 3 and 4 directly because this 4 doesn't contain square root. So that would be the number 1 outside this radical symbol. So that would be 1 times 4, that is 4. Then simply copy square root of 3. That's the answer class for the longer leg. 4 is square root of t. Alright, so that's it. In finding the hypotenuse, the longer leg, if the given is the shorter leg. So once again class, the hypotenuse, that would be 2 times s. So if you have given shorter leg, so that would be 2 times the shorter leg is 4. So 2 times 4, you will get the same answer. So for us class to answer this one easily, just remember this one. If you have given shorter leg, just simply multiply this one by 2 and that would be the hypotenuse because the hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. Now let's give more example class for you to really understand the special right triangle 30, 60, 90 degrees. Alright, let's have more examples. Alright, so example number 1, we have given hypotenuse that is 10. Once again, class, this is the hypotenuse opposite of this angle 90 degrees or the longest side. So this is the hypotenuse. So we need to locate the shorter leg and the longer leg. So the shorter leg, that would be the opposite side of this angle 30 degrees. Opposite of this angle 30 degrees, that's the shorter leg. And the opposite of this angle 60 degrees, that would be our longer leg. Now actually class, you can answer this one directly because you know the hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. So to get the shorter leg, simply divide this one by 2, right? 10 divided by 2, therefore the shorter leg is 5. Because if you multiply this 5 by 2, 5 times 2, that is 10. The hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. So if this is 5 times 2, this will be 10. Now to find the longer leg, you know the formula square root of 3 times the shorter leg. So longer leg is square root of 3 times our shorter leg is 5. So that would be 5 square root of 3. So longer leg, that's 5 square root of 3. So once again, class, you can answer this one directly if you master the formula. Okay, if you know the formula, you can answer this one directly. But if you're confused, do not be worried, class. We will be explaining this one using the formula. So, once again, you have given hypotenuse that is 10. Let me just erase the answer again. So, given hypotenuse that is 10, 
So you can use the formula to find the shorter leg. So H equals 2 times the shorter leg. So we have given hypotenuse that is 10. So 10 equals 2 times the shorter leg. So to get the shorter leg, simply divide this 1 by 2. Divide by 2. So cancel this out. So 10 divided by 2, that is 5 is equals to shorter leg. And to get the longer leg, simply multiply this one by square root of 3. So square root of 3 times the shorter leg. So square root of 3 times the shorter leg is 5. So you will have the same answer. 5 is square root of 3. So once again, you can use the formula or you can just simply answer this one directly. So shorter leg, half of 10, that is 5. Then simply multiply this one by square root of 3. That would be 5 square root of 3 and that's your longer leg. That's it plus 4 number 1. So easy right for number 1. Let's try number 2. Alright, so example number 2, we have given 7 square root of 3. Now, what is this class? Is this the longer leg, shorter leg, or the hypotenuse? That's correct. This is the longer leg because this is opposite of this angle 60 degrees. So, this is the longer leg. And the shorter leg, that would be the opposite of this angle 30 degrees. So, this is the shorter leg. Longest side will be the hypotenuse. So, in this scenario class, we cannot find directly the hypotenuse because we don't have the shorter leg. So, we will be using this formula to find the shorter leg. Longer leg is equal to square root of 3 times the shorter leg. So, longer leg is equal to square root of 3 times the shorter leg. Substitute the value. We have given longer leg that is 7 square root of 3. So, 7 square root of 3 equals is square root of 3 times the shorter leg. So, to get the value of the shorter leg, just simply divide this one by square root of 3 so that we can cancel this out, square root of 3. So, cancel this out, cancel this out, cancel this out, cancel this out. So, this will be 7 is equal to S. Therefore, our shorter leg class is 7. Okay, so this is 7 for the shorter leg. Now, you know that the hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. So, if this is 7, simply multiply this one by 2, and that would be your hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is 14, or you can use the formula, hypotenuse equals 2 times the shorter leg. So, 2, and the shorter leg is 7, so 2 times 7, this will be 14. So, for me, class, just simply multiply this one by 2, and that would be your hypotenuse. That's it, class. That's it for number 2. Easy, right? For number 2, let's try more example class for you to really understand this one. Let's try more complicated example class. Alright, so let's try this one class. More tricky examples. Let's start with number 3. So we have given 3 square root of 3. So once again, you need to identify the shorter leg, longer leg, and the hypotenuse. So opposite of this angle 30 degrees, this is the shorter leg. And the opposite of this angle 60 degrees, this will be our longer leg. And the longest side is the hypotenuse. So you can actually find the hypotenuse directly. Simply multiply this 1 by 2. So this will be 6 is square root of 3. So if you're confused with that one, we use the formula. Hypotenuse is equal to 2 times the shorter leg. So that would be copy 2. Then the shorter leg that is 3 square root of 3 times 3 is square root of 3. So once again, just simply multiply the numbers outside. So 2 times 3, that is 6, simply copy square root of 3. So that's why class, you have 6 is square root of 3. So 3 times 2, that is 6, copy square root of 3. You can answer it directly, but for the longer leg class, we need to use the formula. So longer leg is equal to is square root of 3 times the shorter leg, that is 3 is square root of 3. So this will be, once again, is square root of 3 times 3 square root of 3. So multiply the numbers outside this radical symbol. Understood that there's 1 here. So 1 times 3, that is 3, is square root of 3 times square root of 3. That would be square root of 9. So can we simplify square root of 9? Yep, the square root of 9, that is 3, right? So you put it outside the radical symbol, the square root of 9, that is 3. So that would be copy 3 times the square root of 9, that is 3. So 3 times 3, this will be 9. So therefore, class, the longer leg, that is 9. So longer leg, that is 9. That's it, class. For number 3. Alright, so let's try last example, class, number 4. Quite complicated example, class, for number 4. Let's try number 4, class. Alright, so example number 4. Now, for number 4, class, this will be quite complicated. But once again, do not be worried, class, because we will be explaining this one step by step. Once again, we need to identify the shorter leg, the longer leg, and the hypotenuse. 
So opposite of this angle 60 degrees, this is the longer leg. And the opposite of this angle 30 degrees, that would be our shorter leg. Longest side is the hypotenuse. So we cannot find directly the hypotenuse because we don't have the shorter leg. The formula, it says 2 times the shorter leg. We don't have the shorter leg. So we cannot find the hypotenuse. But we can find the shorter leg using this formula because we have the longer leg. So find the shorter leg. So that would be L is equal to square root of 3 times the shorter leg. So we need to substitute the value. The longer leg is 12. So 12 equals the square root of 3. And we need to find the shorter leg. So times the shorter leg. So we have given longer leg that is 12. So to get the value of the shorter leg, you need to divide both sides by square root of 3. So that the remaining equation on the right side will be only shorter leg. So divide by square root of 3. So cancel this out. Therefore, this will be 12 over square root of 3 is equals to the shorter leg. Now once again, class, we're not allowed that our final answer contains radical on denominator. So we need to rationalize class. So this will be S equals 12 over square root of 3. To rationalize class, simply multiply this one by square root of 3. What would be the radical on the denominator? Simply multiply this one, both numerators and denominator, to remove this radical symbol. Once again, class, if you want to learn more about rationalizing, I will just put the link in the description down below. So this will be 12 times square root of 3. Once again, there's 1 here. So 12 times 1, that is 12. Simply copy square root of 3. A square root of 3 times square root of 3, that would be square root of 9. So this will be copy 12 square root of 3. So the square root of 9, that is 3. So check class, can we divide 12 and 3, the whole number? Yep, we can divide 12 by 3. 12 divided by 3, that is 4. So this will be 4, then copy square root of 3. That's it class. That's the answer for the shorter leg. So that would be 4 is square root of 3. Now to get the hypotenuse, simply multiply this 1 by 2. So this will be 8 square root of 3. 4 times 2, that is 8, copy square root of 3. Or we can use the formula H equals 2 times S. So this will be 2 times the shorter leg, that would be 4 square root of 3. So 2 times 4, that is 8, copy square root of 3. That's it plus all set for the 30, 60, 90 degrees angle. So if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.